Welcome to another video about orchestration and this video is all about listening, practicing with your ears. Are you able to recognize instruments from orchestral music tracks to which you are listening? And that is great fun to do and really important to do. So don't let us waste any time and let's dive into this wonderful topic and exercises that I prepared for you guys. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, this is all about how to write music, orchestral music for film, TV and games, sound design and sound recording. And my goal is to help you write better music for media. So what about the listening exercises that I have prepared for this video? Well, as you may remember, in the first video about orchestration, I talked about transcribing. That's an activity that will boost your knowledge about orchestration and that will boost your skills on the topic of orchestration. But transcribing can be really difficult. And it all starts with, are you able to recognize the instruments that you hear playing in the orchestral music track that you are listening to? And that's sometimes really hard and difficult to do. So that's why I prepared a listening exercise within these series of orchestration to challenge your ears. We are going to do three exercises. One is a solo instrument. The second one are doubles, meaning two instruments are playing at the same time. And the last one is a triple, three instruments playing at the same time. I challenge you, are you able to recognize the instruments that you hear playing? and share with us at the end of this video, when we're done, how many instruments did you recognize correctly? Share that with us and make it yourself easy and use one of these to get the best shot in recognizing the instruments that you hear playing in the examples. Let's start immediately with sound number one. Which instrument do you hear playing? All right, I hope you have any idea which instrument this is. And I'm going to tell you in five seconds which instrument this is. So make up your mind, pick an instrument, and be honest to yourself if you have uh, told it correctly. So this instrument, and I, oh, I can't see it, is a core anglais. It's not a, a typical instrument, but it's an orchestral instrument with a beautiful sound, just like you heard before in this example. And all right, cor anglais. All right, that's sound number one. So you can have one sound correctly or you are still on zero. Let's go to example number two. These are two instruments and these instruments are complementary to each other. So. You have to listen very well to recognize the two instruments. Well, I guess one instrument is not that difficult, but the other one, that's quite a challenge. Here it comes. I hope you have made up your mind. If you need to listen again, just rewind the video and listen again and listen again and listen again until you made up your mind. And I'm going to tell you in five seconds which two instruments these are. All right, these two instruments, and I have to duck again because I can't see the knob. One are the Ogus, short staccato. And I have made a combination with some violins. So obus and violins. These are obus and violins. And let me play it again. The obus, violins. 
and they are beautiful complementary in playing ostinados. It's a beautiful combination that you can use. All right, so if you have recognized them all, you're on three. Let's go to the last one. This is a triple one. So this, these are three instruments playing at the same time, but these are not complementary. These are three instruments that create contrast, uh, accents in the composition that I work on right now. So it won't be a problem to recognize three instruments, but what three instruments are these? Okay, let's start listening again. All right, did you recognize the three instruments in this example? Um, if you need to rewind again, just do that. Listen again, listen again, listen again, and make up your mind. Be honest with yourself. Did you recognize these three instruments? And I'm going to share the answer with you right now. All right, the first one is a bassoon, short staccato. All right, so I've used the bassoon. Second one, the cotales, a beautiful instrument from the orchestra percussion, which is that sort, sort of triangle sound that you heard. And the last one, which was a kind of bell sound, the tubular bells. So did you recognize the bassoon, the cotales and the tubular bells? And I'm going to play it one more time and I will solo them. So these are the together. This is the bassoon. This is the crotales. And these are the tubular bells. Okay, this was the listening exercise and I'm really curious how many instruments did you recognize correctly? All six of them, maybe three, maybe two, maybe one, maybe none. It doesn't matter, but share it with us in the comments below. If you appreciate these listening exercises that I make and it's all about learning which instruments you hear playing, but also about the combinations, which instruments can be used to make a com complementary sound, a much more thicker, rounder sound, for example, or a warmer sound, or which instruments can you use to create contrast, to create accents in your composition. If, if this is something that has your interest, smash that like button so I will know and I will make more of these videos. And don't sell yourself short. We, a lot, a lot of subscribers to this channel and a lot of viewers of these videos are composers or are people making music. I always check the channels from the people that comment on my videos. And when you are a composer or when you are a music creator, I always listen to work on your channel, the music that's on your channel. And when I do that, I always ask myself the questions, which instruments do I hear playing? What is the concept? What are the ideas in this music track? What are the instruments doing? Are they playing a melody line? Are they playing chords? Are they playing a bass line? Am I able to recognize the instruments? What choices this, what choices this person made in his composition? That are really interesting questions to ask when you, when you are listening to work from our fellow composers on YouTube. So don't sell yourself short, but start doing this some sort of automatically when you are listening to music. Maybe you have noticed that I am featuring a couple of channels right now on my channel and I am doing that since last week. These are persons, composers, that I think deserve a lot of attention and support from us because uh, they are doing some awesome things. They are talented and let's help them with growing their channel. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. Ding that bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you next week with another video.